guys, welcome to today's video. My name's Kat, as always, thank you for stopping in. Today, obviously it's a little different. We're not in the studio today. We are outside because I am getting ready to pack up for the lake and I wanted to bring you guys along. Um, a couple of things I pack well in advance. I kind of collect things over the spring going into summer and put it all away in a box or in bags and that way I don't have as much to buy. I just have to worry about getting the fresh items on the way to the lake. First things first, a couple of things. I have these wonderful, wonderful cooler bags from 31. They're like 31 bags is the brand name. And for example, this one is a cooler. It's a fairly good size and it's in a shell but it also has like an exterior portion so you can put things out here with the mesh bottom. So if they, they're sandy, for example, the sand's just gonna come right through. The other bag I really, really like taking and I usually use these for my groceries. Um, once again, 31 others. Oh, if there's, if you hear um, birds, bugs, kids and airplanes, I'm outside. Um, the other bag is this giant square bag and it actually compresses down to be flat and these are wonderful for going to the beach, packing all the stuff up in there. So that I just wanted to throw in there just in case if you guys need a really good beach related bag, those are great options. First things first, chips. Who likes sandy chips at the beach? Not me, not my kids, not my husband, not me. So what I do is I buy these. I buy these, these are individual baggies of chips. And I got these at Walmart for like $7.99. There's 18 bags in there. They got a whole bunch of different flavors. So they're individual baggies of chips. Therefore, one, if you don't eat the entire bag, they don't go stale. Two, you can also reduce the amount you eat. But three, you don't get sand in an entire bag of chips. Because how often does that happen when you have a couple bites, all of a sudden you're playing around, you got sand in there, and now you're eating sandy chips. Gross. Okay. This giant tub here, if you can see it, this is a Sterilite tub and it's a clear tub and I have a number of these and they just have the flap opens. But this is what I store and take up all my food, supplies, items I need to the lake, to the beach in. I spend a good chunk of time at the lake. So I always make sure I have all the things I need, keeping them safe, dry, bug rodent free in these boxes. So a couple of things I always, always, always have are spits, sunflower seeds. These are two different kinds. I actually got these from the dollar store, so they were a dollar each. One's in dill pickle, one's in barbecue. These are great just to have on the beach, on the boat, kind of just around the campfire. Really great little snacks. I recently purchased these at Winners. These are the Bobo's chocolate chip oat bites, and I figured this would be really good for fishing mornings when you don't have a good, when you don't have a lot of time to have, make a breakfast. So we've got oat bites in chocolate chip, and we also got oat bites in strawberry. Hi guys. Say hi, she dressed as Moana today. Hi. Hi. Actually, this is, I got you this. So these are Chips Ahoy minis. I also pick these up in, mm, in zipper bags. Um, I like having these around. I don't always give them to the kids, but I like having them around because they are resealable, but also it's nice to have a little treat at the lake. Yeah. At the lake, I do do breakfasts. I do waffles and eggs and bacon and toast. But some mornings, I A, either just wanna sleep in, or B, I just don't have the time, or the kids are driving me nutty to go out to the water, so we need something fast. So I bought these. These are the fun packs of cereals, and there is two, four, six, eight. Eight in each pack. They were $1.99, so $2 on Amazon add-ons. So you guys can check them out. I had to buy two, so for four bucks, but regularly in the store, each pack like this is about $4. So I got two for the price of one in a regular store, so you can check them out. Like I said, I don't always give them to the kids, but it's just a good option to have on hand. So another thing I pack, like I said, is boat snacks. Um, we, like I said, we do we do a lot of boating, do a lot of um, fishing, do a lot of that kind of stuff. But we need snacks for you know, have a little treat, have a little dessert, whatever. So I've got fruit roll ups, I've got fruit by the foot, I've got fruit snacks, Smarties, all sorts of stuff, Cliff bars. But I keep them in this container because if you individually put them all in a in their boxes it takes up so much room especially when packing so i put them all in here and that way you can see them all they're all visual and you can see exactly what you have in there another thing i pack another thing i pack is a case of craft dinner now like i said 
I normally eat healthy, but I always like to have things on hand that are quick, easy, and then something that the kids absolutely love is Kraft Dinner. I bought this for $4 at Walmart. You guys, it's always good to just have it on hand, macaroni in the boxes, perfect. Another thing I like having, I don't drink soda anymore. I used to be a soda lover, but I actually got out of that program and started drinking this Zivia. And it's zero calorie soda. It's no sugar, no artificial sweeteners, caffeine free. And this is in root beer, because root beer was my absolute favorite soda. And now I am hooked on these. And they're just a good option to have, especially if there's people that don't drink soda. So these are brand new this year and I am super happy I found them. These are Ziploc recyclable paper bag lunch bags and they are so cute and they are completely re recyclable, reusable, food safe, non-waxy, and they're good for the earth. So you, as much as we all really, really try to pick up all of our garbage at the lake, all of that kind of stuff, sometimes something might just get away from you. So this you don't have to worry about so much. I'm not enticing you to leave it on the beach. Please pick up all your garbage but just perchance something were to happen, these are a lot safer option than the Ziploc baggies themselves. So I did, and they're, my favorite part actually is they are like, you can be customizable. They're actually customizable, which is my favorite part. You can put different stickers on them. Great for sandwiches, great for little things like that. I always keep in here, I have, I have a whole bunch of different hiding places for sunscreen, bug sprays, things like that, but I always keep them in all different kinds of boxes so we always have them on hand i got sunblock and bug spray in this box just to have on hand like i said they're all in a whole bunch of different bags so they're always readily available i also have iced tea mix and this one is a little different it's from murchie's tea you can find them online but this tea is an is an unsweetened tea so it tastes like just tea mix it's not like a super sweet good host mix it's just a regular tea mix i love having this because i always put it in a giant decanter for the kids and they can just fill it all up and have tea on hand. So this year I got my husband a whole bunch of fishing supplies because he needed them. He doesn't actually know I got him all this yet, but um, I got him a new fish ruler for the side of the boat. You take it off and it's adhesive and you put it on the side of the boat and that way you can measure your fish out. Um, ours wore off like the, you can't, the sun has completely penetrated through it. It's just gross. So I got him a new one of these. This was $1.99 on Amazon. I also got him a new fish scale because he has an old scale, an old version with the dial. This is a new digital one. So I, I can't remember where I got this. It's probably from Cabela's or something like that, but this is always a good thing to have on hand, especially at the lake. I also got some new fish mouth spreaders. Ours are just getting old and rusty and I thought this would be a good, good thing to have. I found these $5 on Amazon, a lot cheaper than in the store. And these are de-hookers and we have a, an older version of these. We're just kind of doing an upgrade thing right now. So we have an older version of these. These are from the Mustade uh, company and these are 9.5 inches pistol de-header hooks. These are a great product to have, especially if the fish has swallowed it or has gone deeper in the gills. It's really a lot nicer to pull this pull hooks out like this than using your finger or the option. One thing I do is I collect kind of, not necessarily collect, but I collect to use. It's not that I collect them to keep on a wall or anything like that, but I collect different um, hooks and things I want to try. But I don't always like them just rolling around in bags and boxes because you never find them. So I have these reusable Ziploc type bags. They're not Ziploc, but I found them on Amazon. They're reusable plastic bags and they just open up like this, but I keep a whole bunch of hooks in here. So I've got, you know, some new green heads. These ones are pretty fun. These are the new Glitz Heads ones. Um, I really want to try these and I can't wait to see how they work out. You guys can, I'm, I'm going to take you guys to the lake this year so you guys can um, come along on the journey. But you see how they come individually like this. So if you pop them in a bag, pop them in a bag, you won't lose them. So that's it for today's video, guys. My name's Kat, as always. Today we've just been packing for the lake, getting ready for the lake, so like, comment, and subscribe down below, and we'll see you guys in my next video.